Yo, so what's up guys and pretty much we're gonna be doing a pokey hunting video in uh, Manchester So today we're in Manchester for a sneaker event So obviously you'll see a video on my main channel for that But on the collectibles channel what we're gonna do is go to about four or five retailers Maybe more there might be a few more whatever retailers or stores we can find See if we can record inside show you some stuff these retailers in Manchester have uh, Make sure to stay tuned we're gonna just gonna go to these shops and we'll show you what you can, we can get in Manchester So Pokemon shopping in Manchester we're gonna be doing London um, Brighton, Liverpool, wherever we go, we'll do some this sort of video. So whenever we're in somewhere different, Birmingham, Coventry, etc., wherever we are across the country, maybe we've done some videos going to Germany, Berlin, buying Pokemon shopping. So we've done it before last year. Uh, obviously, before the whole lockdown. Now lockdowns lifted, we can kind of travel. It's the first time really traveling out. So that looks sick. But uh, I'm just looking at the car. But yeah, uh, Manchester Pokemon shopping video. So let's get to it. Let's see if we can find. But yeah, guys, we'll see you in a bit. So we're only Viva Voltage here, but we got some Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, uh, Dragon Ball. So they only had Viva Voltage packs left, uh, but they had some other TCGs like Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball, etc. Uh, but they will get the new sets. Well, I think the new shop's in here, so yeah, we'll go find this one. Some cool sets. So we got magical here. It's a little bit over RRP. Duelist pack. I think I got that. I think I got this one. Sealed box of that. But few cool stuff. Legendary heroes though. So they got Leon Hart here. They got some old stuff. Look at that Keldeo. That's 20th anniversary, right? Some old ooh, collection boxes there. But they open a lot, so this is sick. You can see box toppers. They're vintage ones. Charizard for days. Everywhere. Right, more Yu-Gi-Oh. There's all these packs here. Oh, these are. That's one way to get rid of these. Uh, what do you call it? Dividers. Oh, these are a little bit older toys as well. You want an EV Marine? No, you want this one? No. That looks sick. You reckon that's a back? Oh, that's a shoulder bag. Should we replace the Dior with that? They don't have nothing like this in my area. 600, look at this. Is that 649 quid? Yeah. For Elemental, I'm sure. That's mad, they got Ghost Rider. Yo, this shop is sick. This I want, but I think they're all empty. I reckon they're empty. I want one of these for sealed, but just look at that iridescent. I think I had one of these back in the day. Used cards. Problem with Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm gonna struggle to find the cards I want. Oh yeah. Make sure to sanitize my bag. Sanitize, guys, and masks. Well, I think these are all used ones. Yeah, used. Sick though. Oh, they got the Rage of Rod there. Sick. Two grand for that one. I can't zoom in. Marie, they've got Charizards here. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, well, they've got a pair of Charizards here. This shop's sick. Yeah, that's This is about market. Yeah, a lot of it's about market, so it's alright. Promos for nine quid. Rainbows there, we'll have a look. There's some sealed boat booster boxes there. So we've got rainbows here, Marie. I just want to get a Charizard look. I want to grab that one. We've got vintage as well. Okay, rainbows now, you know I love rainbows. Got mid side up there. Bro, I'm gonna end up spending peas. I'm trying to look at rainbows. I want a rainbow, but I don't think anything picks my fancy really. Got the Machamp. Sylveon's nice, but a little bit. Entei's nice. Price is high. I might just get this one 20 quid for the Generations promo. This is cool. Some secret rows mixed here. The Gyarados, Magikarp, Ponchos, we got the Lance, yeah, yeah, those ones are peas, used to be cheap back in the day, we got the Lance chairs out in the back, I'll have one of those coming soon.
400 quid for that shining E2. I sold my home for 100. Yeah, pretty cool. It's a cool scene shot. So there's loads of singles in there. Also, our last shop was sick. It was a lot of good stuff, but over retail. However, now we've got traveling man. So you can already see retail ETBs. The other shop had ETBs at like 80, 90 pounds. So it's nice to see retail for once, but yeah. It was not bad, we caught some bits from the last shop, but let's get into it. So obviously Travelling Man wasn't too bad, everything was retail however, not the greatest selection, but they do have uh, ETB Pluses and Shining Face ETBs, uh, but uh, obviously the range wasn't that great. Yeah, busy Manchester. Next stop, Fanboy 3. Looks cool. Uh, so we've got like plushes. Next there. Uh, for the Dragon Ball Z guys, I know there's a lot in my Discord that like Dragon Ball Z. So have a look. It's got ETBs, booster packs, ET, um, building battle kits, blisters. Yeah. Not bad, and all retail looks like so that's good. These two as well. So Fanboy was a pretty good store, but um, not much variety apart from just vivid uh, chilling rain and battle styles. Uh, but apart from that, the, the guy was really nice, so I thought I'd buy two packs of Vivid. Uh, but yeah, let's go check out in here. So boom, they got some Shining Fates and Chilling Rain. And then they also got Ghosts from the Past, so a lot of those. So boom, they had some score Bunnies as well, but one per person. So I got four packs of Chilling Rain, boom. So guys, we got a ticket for you guys, so all you gotta do is like and subscribe. Uh, because we got a ticket to create this video. Hopefully you like. So we caught up some bits, we'll show you that when we get at the hotel, obviously. Uh, but guys, make sure to like and subscribe. We've got a ticket. So yo, that was the Manchester shopping video. Uh, hopefully, we, like I said, we're going to do this in other uh, cities. We're going to go to London, that's obviously where we're from. We'll do a London video for sure. I reckon next month or something, we'll do a London video. So uh, comment down below if you want to see the London one. If we get, I don't know, 50 comments, we'll get through that. That's pretty hard to get. But I know a lot of you, hundreds of you watch this, so at least 50. Let's see if we get 50. We'll do a bang in London one. Me and Marie will go around and try it. But Manchester has been pretty good. Uh, I was surprised to see uh, some cool shops, um, some stock in the shops. You saw it as well, guys. Like, I love a store that sells like single cards as well, from vintage to modern. In my area where I'm from, we don't really have any places or LGS stores that sell that sort of stuff. So it's cool to see. So I'm going to show you what we picked up. All right, from game, I think this bag just got. I bought this, I've seen adverts for this, but um, yeah, they actually sell that in game. I think I think the game purchase, all the purchases are in this bag here. So boom, first one, we bought this from Card Empire. So this was $24.95 and I thought that was pretty well priced. I think, I don't know what retail was, but I feel like it was very, very close to that. Obviously Card Empire was the store with all the singles. They had like Unified Mines, Unbroken Bonds booster boxes, but they were like 300 plus each. Uh, I think this might be the last one, it's a bit creased here, I don't think I saw another one in that shop, but uh, I love the Detective Pikachu movies around the time when I got into the hobby seriously, uh, like I do now, uh, so I remember opening these back then. So you got Burning Shadows here, two Detective Pikachu packs which I've opened hundreds of, and you get a binder as well which is pretty cool, and then the promo there as well, so yeah exactly that. So come have a look, closer look at the promo, this will be in the sealed collection. Uh, I do have some other Detective Pikachu pieces in my collection for the sealed display. One day we'll give you a sealed display collection piece uh, video if you want to see some. Here's some snippets right now. I'm going to put some snippets here of my sealed collection. So hopefully you like that. Uh, but that's from that store. Here we go. This is our game purchase. We're going to open these today. We're going to open these right now. So game. Also in Manchester, they have the score bunny on the ball promos. One per person there. I know some stores vary. Some stores you can get multiple if you've seen on eBay. <coughs> but uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, we got one of these. So every £15 you spend in the UK game store, you get one of these while stocks uh, last. Marie, that's your two. That's my two. We're going to open that after. Um, so let's put that now there. Oh, we've got some single cards. I'll keep that for the end. So boom, here we go. Two Viv Voltage. I bought this from uh, the fan, three fan or whatever they're called. Fanboys? Fanboys or something like that, yeah. Uh, sorry if I can't remember the name on top of my head, but 
two vivid packs i thought why not a lot of vivid voltage and chilling rains in all these stores obviously the recent releases let me know if you want to see uh, a video again shopping in manchester uh in a year's time you can see the variety of stock like i've done videos in last year and the year before that and you'll see the crazy different uh from stock like when i went as there was cosmic clips uh last year sitting there like loads of it so it's good to see what kind of sets are gone what sets are reselling what sets are uh, available so if you, if you want to see me do one in manchester again it's like london i'll do a london this year and we'll do another london one next year and then we can see from every year the differences in stock uh so let me know if you can see that what we've got here oh, the scissors that's for so basically we're in manchester for a convention called crepsi a whole video on my main channel about that one and we did a little shopping went around a little vlog style video just our day out and then we got a convention where we sell so show them we got some pokemon there to sell so you got booster packs there we got pokemon over there as well did we bring any pokemon toys uh yeah a little few yeah so we got pokemon there i think you got a load of Pokemon bits as well that we sell on the website. So we just sell there. We're good friends with the guys at Crepe City. So if you want to see more about sneakers and streetwear, check my main channel. But yeah, I also bought these. I'm pretty gassed about this. This was from Card Empire. These t-shirts are from, I want to work out the year. I want to say, for some reason, I feel like it's 2004. I think so. I don't know why I think that. I've seen these on Depop before and the guys on the Depop never had my size. I tried to look for them in the USA as well. They're like, so I think it's like a tournament t-shirt. So Hobby League Champ. And they had loads of these. They had tons of these. So this is the front. So these are the, the gadget cards. So green gadget, you got yellow. Well, they're gadgets, right? Hopefully I don't get it wrong. Obviously you remember this from the original anime, but it's your move. And yeah, this is sick. Just like a vintage vibe. I'll probably wear this in the house and wash it out so you get it looking vintage. Um, I don't know what year. If anyone has any information on these, let me know. I feel like it's 2004. We got this one as well. So this one's a little small print here. Um, but yeah, this is cool. So yeah, they had XL and <laughs> so that was my size. I can't remember exactly what this one's called. Because I obviously I know uh, the original God cards, but then there was the other God cards. I, my, I remember that's my cousin's era because he's quite younger than me. So they were my cousin's era. I didn't know, I can't remember the names off the top of my head. Let me know what this guy's called, but I do know the card. I have the card in my binder. But I can't remember the name, but yeah, hopefully that's cool. I have that. Oh, last one now. This is the best one. Okay, our single cards. But I wouldn't say it's the best one, but I've tried to find some reasonably priced singles that I wanted in my collection, and these were it. So we got this Dialga promo. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think. I don't, know, I don't know where this came from, but I feel like a Generations box. I could be wrong or something up. I'll put the product of where this Dialga came from right here. So this is an XY Promo XY77. It's actually looking at these on eBay in the last few weeks. Um, so yeah, this one was in bad condition. And then as you can see, we got the Generations Charizard. I actually have a box of this sealed in my sealed collection. However, I don't have a promo that's pretty mint. So this one, hardly any whitening. There's like one spot here. But these promos are very hard to grade just due to the nature of the print quality as well as being a box promo. Uh, so I think they had a lot. Of, the singles are very, very fair price. So uh, Card Empire, these were from Card Empire. I think I, think I really enjoyed Card Empire. But how long was I there? For an hour? Hour, yeah. Hour, like it felt like 10 minutes. But I was looking at everything. They had everything. But the problem, reason they had everything is because a lot of it's overpriced um, resale prices. So if you want to see product, then look at product. It's quite cool to see some of the sets uh, that I used to open now worth 300, 400 pounds a box. Um, so yeah, just cool to go in there, but looking at singles, I think singles that place is great. They had tons of singles. They had WotC singles, they had modern singles, the newest sets, the oldest sets. So yeah, they had new and used, like used condition, played condition as well. They buy collections and sell them. But yeah, Card Empire, definitely check them out. But they're all good stores, just check them out when they get new sets and you they, they will get like the Evolving Skies and Celebration. So Manchester lot, tip for you. But enough waffle. I think I'll open my three. I said these are mine, yeah? We got the light on there. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go straight to the red because I know I longed out this outro, but nothing in that vivid voltage pack. So there's the code. So yeah, let me know if you like this video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also, I got a parking ticket for you guys. So make sure to subscribe and show your support. All right, chilling rain now. Code card there, nothing. Come on, last pack magic. Whoa, last pack magic. Wow, wow. 
All right, Marie, can you pull it out the bag now? Okay, the voltage. Oh, okay, just a holler red, Daryl Ludon. Let's put it to Sile. You're winning anyways, because I've got nothing, so you won the pack battle. Hopefully they scan that code. Oh, oh, Metagross, okay, what's the centering saying? Ooh, that's a very good centering. So I want one of these in my collection. I, my sleeves, oh, I don't have sleeves in this car. Oh. So I do want that in my collection. All the ones I pulled is terrible centering. So at least that's a W. And final pack for Marie is, ooh, oh, really, three, hits. three hits, but two hollows. But wow, you definitely beat me. So congratulations, Marie. Thanks. And yeah, guys. So boom, that's it for me from Manchester, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, let me know what city you want me to hit next. Pretty much if I'm like in Birmingham visiting something or doing something there, I'll try and spend some time going to the Pokemon shops. So maybe let me know what cities you want me to uh, try out or what cities are pretty good. So London, obviously that's near me. So we'll definitely be doing that very, very soon. But let me know any other cities you want me to check out. And yeah, maybe I'll just go for to do the video. Maybe this is our series growing across the country, checking out all the stores. Uh, and let me know where I can improve, what um, stuff I can do better. Uh, but yeah, guys, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.